Hi, fifth graders. Happy Tuesday. Um, I just want to start this video by saying if you've ever finished all your work and deleted it, I feel your pain in this moment because I just spent about the past 30 minutes recording a video for you and then I deleted it on accident. So yeah, computer one, Miss Nelson zero. That's where we're at right now. But I am here to show you how to highlight um, parts of a literary essay. That was today's ELA assignment, um, one of your ELS, ELA assignments for today. Um, so let's look at it together. First thing I want to say is if you have not tried highlighting on your own, you need to do that first. So stop this video if you haven't tried it on your own. You need to at least try yourself first. If you only are looking at the answers, if you just jump there first, right, to this video, it's not really helping you learn if you haven't thought through it on your own without help first. So please make sure you do that. All right, first let's look at the introduction and it says in red, highlight the important ideas about the theme to draw the reader in like a hook, which comes at the very beginning of the intro. Hint, sometimes it's more than one sentence. So let's look at the start. It said it comes at the very beginning of the intro. I know this is the introduction. Let's see what we have. Depending on how you look at it, baseball can be a game of fun, a serious sport, or a way to cope with difficulties in life. Sounds like a hook, right? It's telling me about baseball and giving me some different details about it to draw me in. The game itself requires cooperation, strategy, and above all, determination. Hmm, if it says above all determination, that gives me a clue that maybe my theme or topic for the story is going to have something to do with determination. Um, and it said that in red, I wanna highlight important ideas about the theme. I'm guessing the theme might be about determination. So I'm gonna highlight these first two sentences in red. Then it says in blue, highlight the title, author if one is given, and a brief summary of the story or how the author interpreted the story. These things come in the middle of the intro. Hint, this is often several sentences. Okay, so now I'm kind of at the middle of my intro. Um, and it said, I'm looking for a title and author if one is given first. So I see right here, it says, after reading the story, Baseball Saved Us. That looks like the title. So let's at least put that part in blue. And then I want um, a brief summary of the story or how the author interpreted the story. So it says the author of this essay talked about it with others. So that shows me, okay, this is probably going to be part of the interpretation. It seems that not everyone thinks about the story in the same way. Some people think that the story is about a group of Japanese Americans who play baseball just to keep busy while they are detained in an internment camp during World War II. They think that the people just want to do something fun because they are bored. But I think the story is much more than that. Hmm. And here the author says, I think think that. So that shows me that must be the author's interpretation. And again, when I say author, I don't mean that it has to be the author who actually wrote the book. It's just, um, I'm just referring to the author of this essay. In some cases, it could be the same person, but it doesn't have to be. Just like how we didn't write um, baseball saved us, but we could write a literary essay if we wanted to. All right, um, and then the last part says in green, highlight the theme which comes at the end of the intro. This is often one sentence. Okay, I have one sentence left. Let's see if it sounds like a theme. I think baseball saved us is really about how the power of determination can help people overcome huge obstacles in their lives. Hmm. That sounds like a theme, and it also sounds similar to these ideas about the theme that I highlighted at red, in red at the beginning. Um, we see the word determination right here, and in our theme right here at the end of the intro, let's put this sentence in green. All right, then it says, make sure every sentence in this paragraph is highlighted before moving on. I have it all highlighted, and you can see the colors 
red, blue, green are in the same order as my highlighting, red, blue, green, which is really important. Um, these steps, one, two, three, um, or however many numbers you have, go in order. They'll come in this order in the actual paragraph. Please make sure that you're using the actual highlight colors that are given and not choosing your own. Otherwise, when me or your ELA teacher, um, when we're looking at this document to grade, it'll be hard if you change your highlight colors. All right, moving on to supporting paragraph one. It says, in purple, highlight the transition word or phrase that, that begins this paragraph. It always has a comma right after it and comes at the very start of the supporting paragraph. Okay, I know this is called a supporting paragraph. And I see a transition phrase right here. It says, early in the story, and there's a comma right after it. So I highlight that in purple. Next, in orange, highlight the rest of the first sentence, which gives the topic of the paragraph and relates back to the theme. I know from my intro that my theme is about the power of determination. So let's see if this first sentence of supporting paragraph one talks about determination. There is evidence of the power of determination to find something productive to do. Hmm, okay, so I know this particular paragraph is probably going to be about finding something productive to do and having determination to do it. Next, in pink, highlight the examples given. This part often starts with the words, for example, and is sometimes, or often, several sentences long. Here I see the words, for example, and let's look at the examples. Remember, they're examples of what I just highlighted in orange, of the power of determination to find something productive to do. That means early in the story, someone had the power of determination and they did something productive. Let's look at our examples of that. <coughs> Excuse me. For example, the narrator states that the Japanese Americans didn't have anything they needed for baseball, but they find ways to get what they need. Bats, balls, and gloves arrived in cloth sacks from friends back home. They create the baseball field with shovels and water. They build, oops, sorry. They build bleachers out of trees. They sew uniforms out of mattress covers. Um, so before I go on to what that shows, I want to just stop because I got to the end of my examples and put that part in pink. Right, those are all the things they did that gave them something productive to do. Um, and you'll also notice that there are some parts in quotation marks that means the author of this literary essay took some things word for word from the story um, or from the piece of literature. That's a really good idea when you're giving examples to make them stronger. You can um, actually use a direct quote like that. Then our last step says, in yellow, highlight the concluding sentence of this paragraph. It ties back to the theme and often starts with the words, this shows that or it is clear that. Right here, I see the words, this shows that, and it says, this shows that through the power of determination, they are able to experience a part of the everyday life they once enjoyed. Hmm, I see the words, the power of determination, which ties back to the theme, and it also starts with, this shows that. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this sentence in yellow. Make sure every sentence in this paragraph is highlighted before moving on. All right, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna stop this part of the video um, so it doesn't get too long and move on to part two.